4th of August. It's a Tuesday in Creek Crease. And this is your video tour of AFRTS in 1993. About 10 months, 9, 10 months before the actual closure of Rackland Air Station. What you're looking at right now is a big old satellite. And uh, this 11 and a 11 meter dish will be uh, shipped out here pretty soon. Uh, but anyway, this is the uh, satellite dish and uh, looking east. <laughs> Hi, Bob. Hello. What's with this backing up two step? Getting out of the road so you don't run my butt over. I've got a good little video of the station, uh, just a little uh, around the station. What's up? Can be a hot one. Uh, Okay, uh, this is the uh, child care center and kids playing. And looking down the little street, there's the school. Not much has really changed about this parking lot. And there is, there is the sign. And we'll back out just a little bit. There is AFRTS. Not a lot has changed on the outside, but as we go inside, you'll see some really big changes. You see the stairs have moved around to this side. Underwent a big renovation in 1992. Radio section was out at Kokini Hani. Television station was over at Building 95, over by the front gate. And television with Nikos and the boys was working out of the back room of this building. So anyway, let's go over here and see what's going on. Well, does that mean Say I hello. To hello to time? you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just making a, a vi making a videotape of the station and how the how, with the changes and stuff from when I was here last. And the last time you were here. So I'm sure Rob will be watching this. You remember little Rob Sturt? Little Rob Sturt? Stare it. Yeah. Stare it. Yeah. You can I say do. hi to him. Because hi to him. <laughs> so I'll show everybody that these are still here. There's Tony up there. CHR. I don't remember who CHR was. Uh, there's Gumby. 8485. Uh, Hub. 85. Uh, Steve and, and Deborah Hull. Steve is dead. Van Amos, Go Army. Uh, Sherry Armbrust, Brian Armbrust, Jerry Lewis, Russ Casey, and Rocco. I don't know who Rocco was. All right. Inside the building now. Tech Sergeant Ellenburn. Moon, Apostolakis Brown, Patine, Rudolph Johnson, Tom, a couple of cards, one from Janie, one from Kirby. And back this way, we walk in here, which used to be the production room. It's now the admin room. This is where most of my job takes place right now, since we don't have an admin person. we got a fax machine over there. Uh email. But anyway, this is the old production room. Coming around this way. This used to be Studio A, and it had turned into the operations superintendent's office. Mac was in here, McWilliams, Don McWilliams, and then we had uh, Scott Kirby was in this room. Now it's just kind of a storage room for old supplies and stuff. 
Take a look at the thermometer. It says 80. It's 10.45 in the morning, so it should be up around 90, 95 today. This is the station manager's office. Uh, my office right now, this is the old radio office. And uh should mention the fact that we are in the drawdown stage and so there's a lot of stuff missing out of here. But uh this is my office. Ted You always give a big smile when you're on camera or when you're on doing radio or something. It's really cool because you're maintenance. You look really strained. Your face is swollen. It looks like the man. Why? Equipment's broken. Which equipment? Take a pick. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Say hi. Say hi. Uh. Unless you're telling me I'm going to spend now, I don't want to know about it. <laughs> they canceled that. Uh, I'll stop. Hey, Smithy. Bye. So what's left of our teletype room? Telephone room. Where are you running off to? Lemonade jug. Yeah, you Thanks. Thanks. Where am I going? What's my assignment? I don't know. What is your assignment? I don't know. You tell me. I'm on leave. Okay. You stay on leave. Bob will give you an assignment. This used to be... Well, this used to be two rooms. And right where that guy's sitting used to be the refrigerator. And... There's the old... Uh, um, air conditioned window in the back there and this is the radio continuity office here when we first moved into this building in September we had uh, seven desks in here but now since we're moving you've got only three desks you're supposed to, no you're supposed to be looking at him I already did I'm not gonna say it <laughs> That's JDB right there, Tam and Derek B. Dirk. Dirk. Call in your sponsor. Call in your sponsor. I don't he's, have a sponsor. He's the king of control numbers there. Anyway, moving right along. Make sure you get Bucky. Get Bucky. Oh, yeah. I'm sure he'll appreciate that. Okay. I think he's down counting. There you are again. How many, how many of you are there in this building? <laughs> Okay, this used to be the operations supervisor's office, and as you can tell now, it is a, a computer office, the record library, and the refrigerator's back here, back where the station manager also used to be. This is our CD racks. That's how we keep all of our CDs. And we look right here. On these gold discs, these are the kind of songs that we've got. These are our CDs. Uh, these are records. We're going to destroy them. We have the authority now to destroy them. This used to be the station manager's office right in here, through this door here. It's now the record library, of course, and the microwave and CD stuff. The card catalogs. And the rest of our records. Now, the next time that you see these, it will be in pieces. As soon as I get back off leave, we're going to destroy these and ship them out. Nobody wants them. Vinyl is dead. Okay, back through here, uh, women's bathroom. 
not much has changed about the women's bathroom. As a matter of fact, the same way it was when it was built back in the 1960s, I guess, 1950s. Change about the men's restroom, so I won't take you in there either. All right, spinning on around. Here's the water fountain, the bulletin board. It's going to television operations now. Used to be the maintenance shop. Now one big room, TV control. Used to be the telescene, right where we're looking right now. What, son? What? Don't forget the power. Don't forget to leave the fireboard. You notice anything different there uh, since you was gone? This is the CMX editor. It used to be, as you can see the window right there, the TV control board used to sit there and look into the studio. Again, this used to be three different rooms. Okay. The only thing that's changed out here, basically, is there's a new room. Okay, we're looking northeast in the station right now, and that's the new room that was added on out in the studio. And this used to be our interview set. It's now empty. The back door. That was here when this room was built on. Now this is the uh, television transmitter. And this is the FM 1000 watt stereo FM 106 transmitter. This used to be the newsroom. That's going into the TV studio again right there. And that's going into TV control. You come right in here. And this used to be the news editor. There's editing room, still the newsroom. Now there is a famous Mickey editing She's system. She's working. She's there again. She's not just roaming around the station. This is the Mickey editing system, the archaic Mickey, Mickey editing Mouse system. Mickey editing system. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we're in the room that used to be in the studio. This used to be part of the studio, and they built this room on as part of the renovation. Don't push me. Ah. Ah. Kind of deer caught in headlights look. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's going around breaking equipment. But <laughs> dork. TV office. It is now the radio production room. And this will be coming out uh, in November as well. There's our new boards, CD players, turntables that we hardly ever use, production music on CDs. Hi, Dave. You're supposed to be delivering inane narration with your mouth this far from the microphone. What I'm doing is telling people that you, this used to be the admin office before the renovation right here and now look at it it's, it's fabulous if and radius are just milk hola hey don what's up one second boy you were you were especially greasy on the phone on the uh, on the news last night congratulations you were the embodiment of every hobby shop employee yeah you, you did us proud you want your wife hang on milk bye wes bye